Once we install our radar, we want to do some setups. So for setting up our radar, we're going to go into our home button. We're going to go into settings. We're going to go down to radar. And then the first thing we're going to do is go into installation. Uh, and the first thing I always do is hit radar status. This lets me know if I have everything that I need connected to the unit. It tells me whether I've got my heading sensor on, am I receiving heading data for my overlay or MARPA targets. It lets me know that everything's valid and working properly. So that's a quick way to find out and just make sure everything is connected. The next thing we're going to want to do is our antenna setup. So what now happens with the new 20.0 software is we actually put a boat icon when we zoom in real tight onto the vessel. So we want to set up our X and Y as well as how high it is off the water. And remember that's from zero point, from the center of the boat. We're not measuring back from the bow or it starts at that center line. So if I ended up putting 30 feet and I'm in a 30 foot boat, it's going to end up 30 feet behind if I use plus or 30 feet uh, the opposite way if I use minus. So we set that up properly as well and simply save it. The last thing we want to do is adjust a bearing alignment and with that what we're going to do is we're going to find a target and we're going to steer the boat so that we're looking down the dead center of the vessel and we want to get that target So that when we line up on it, we're looking straight down the center of the boat, that we're looking right on that target or that icon. And if it's not aligned properly, then we can go in and we can adjust that bearing alignment as we need to, whether it's a plus or minus measurement. So you'll notice as I make my adjustments, my target, so I went the wrong way, so we need to go minus. And you can see I now put that icon directly in front of the boat hit back and save and now I've just saved my bearing alignment. Side lobe suppression, you do never, never want to touch that, you want to leave that for a qualified technician and that's only in the event we have some issues where we might be losing some targets in certain ranges. Sector blanking allows us to basically turn off the radar in four different areas. So what that means is in the event we are transmitting and we've got a satellite communication dome on the top or a television dome on the top we can actually go in and select an area set the bearing where we can turn off the transmit pulse so now we won't be transmitting into that device or maybe a tower leg something that might give a false return or we might damage that other piece of equipment And then here's also where you control your halo light. We can turn that on or off. 